Hello and thank you for visiting Ladies in Tech. What I'm going to talk about is um, looking at a wiring diagram and it has relay logic in it. We're going to look at how we can change it over and use it in ladder logic and RS logics 500. All right, so that's your walk wall automation software. So right now we're looking at a wiring diagram. Um, this is actually a diagram of a hardwired relay and has a stop start circuit for a motor. This is a very typical uh, stop start circuit for a motor. We have a stop push button and it's wired normally closed. Uh, when we say normally closed, we mean in its normal position, um, it is closed. So you can see here that we have a stop push button. Closed position, it allows current to flow through. If we go over here to the start push button, it's open. So we have no continuity here. You can see the start buttons above there. So this is in a normally open position. So in our normal position, our start button does not allow current to flow through. When I say normal, I mean not push, not actuated. Okay. Here we have a coil, which is our motor. And within that coil for the motor for that relay, we have a contact. And this is a contact that's inside that relay. So when this coil on this relay becomes energized, all the contacts all switch states and allow um, current either flow or not to flow depending if you did the normally open contact so that means that no current will go through here until this coil is energized because in its normal position no current flows but when it's energized it will allow current to go through so the way this uh, circuit works is that when I press the start button you can see it's gone to pink here it will energize this motor and now I can let go of the start button and I have an alternative path in order to energize the motor. So I don't have to sit there and hold the start button to keep the motor going. It can take this path here. The only way to de-energize the motor is if we press the stop button. And there you go, it opens it up. And now there's no path for the current to get to the, the coil to energize it. So once again, we start it, we energize it. Here's our seal. Okay, that is called your seal. So this is some relay logic in order to turn on this motor. So now let's look at how we can do the same logic but using a PLC and using ladder logic to obtain the same results without having to hardwire everything. Okay, so we'll go take a look at the... So here we are, we're in RS Logix 500 and in this here we're going to do a demo on creating the same logic using the same component. So we got to remember here that our stop button is wired normally closed and our start button is wired normally open. So whenever we go to build some logic, we have to remember we can never build on an end rung. So we want to enter a new rung. And there we go. You can see I got a new rung of logic here. And here are uh, some uh, commands or some instructions that I can put in here. So the first instruction I want to use is an examine if closed. Okay, and this is an examine if closed and it's underneath your user bit. And I'm going to grab two of those. So when I'm making this logic here, I want to remember the stop push button will be high or logic level of one. When I say zero, it means it is low. So what I'm going to do now is address this here to where I know the stop button is wired to my PLC. So on my PLC you have it, um, any inputs that we use are always I, so I will always start your address, colon zero. So when I put the zero on there, it tells me it's in slot zero, and when you use slash two is my stop push button. So that stop push button is an input because it's an I colon and zero is slot zero. And slash two tells me that it is physically wired to pin number two on the PLC. Next, I'm going to add into my start push button, which I know is I colon zero slash one. There we go. Um, the next thing I need is an output, and my output coils are here, so I want my output energized. And what I want to turn on is an output for the motor, which is located on O, right, because it is an output, colon, uh, 0 slash 8. 
Now I'm going to put uh, a branch around here by se selecting this guy here, run branch. I'm going to grab the side of it and you can see it goes green when you're able to push put it, uh, the connection there. So this here is giving me my or situation and we're going to put in here that contact in that coil. So I'm going to simply, I'll let you see that again, grab right here by the O. It's blue and you can see everything's red right now until I get close and I can drop the address in there. So let's take a look about at this here a minute and let's think about before we download. This stop push button, since it's wired normally closed, okay, and this is an examine if closed instruction. I like to call it is normal position instruction. So in its normal position, this will be high. And we'll look at our start push button and its normal position will be low. So in order for this logic to reach the motor, we have to have both of these high or this high as well. So let's go ahead and download this right now. It's asking me if I'm sure if I want to download it into the processor, uh, MicroLogix 1400 Series B, and I'm going to say yes. Would I like um, it to be back into run mode, remote run mode? I'm going to say yes. And we're going to put it in run mode now. And I want to go online so I can watch. So right away, I know I'm online and it's in run mode because we're green on the side. So think green for go. And now here, let's look at our stop button. Um, it, this here indicates that we have a high in the logic. Okay, and always think the logic's going to go from left to right. Okay, whenever we look at ladder logic, we read it just like a book. Left to right, top to bottom. Okay, is that how is how the scans happen in the processor. So here um, we have a high and the next we need is either a logic level high here or here in order to turn on the motor. So the only way that I can um, turn on this uh, this contact here is to or this coil here and this contact is to push my start button. So I'm going to do that now. I push my start button you can see it go high and you can see that the motor's on. Um, now if I release my start button, there will be an alternative path in order for it to be on. So let me release my start button. You can see now that the motor has stayed on. And in order to stop it, I'm going to have to push my stop button. So let me do that now. Push my stop button. And you can see that the motor has now shut off. So let me do that a couple more times for you. Start, stop, start, stop. So this goes to show you um, how much quicker it is to program this relay logic instead of having to go back and hardware relays. Um, so this is why PLCs are much are easier and faster and uh, more favorable to use than having to do the old school hardware of relays. So anyways, I'm going to do some more tutorials on PLCs and ladder logic, so please stay tuned and uh, thanks for joining me.